how to open a Swiss bank account for US tax residents. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this very interesting interview. We are here at a bright summer day in beautiful Lugano, the lake of Lugano just behind us. And with me, I have Enzo Caputo, who is one of the most experienced Swiss banking lawyers exactly. with more than 30 years of experience. So thank exactly. you very much, Enzo, for taking the time. Thank you for the invitation. I'm very happy to answer this question and to speak today about how to open a Swiss bank account for US residents, mm -hmm. for US persons with residents in the United States of America. So is what is the problem? Why actually is it so difficult for US tax residents to get a foreign and offshore a Swiss bank account? I mean, for Germans, it is you know, tough from the Swiss side because yeah. of compliance and they want to have a lot of documents and you have to prove the source of income and everything. Uh, but for Germans and British people, for example, it's much easier mm -hmm. in total than for US exactly, Americans. Exactly. Why is that? This is because Switzerland, Swiss banks had a lot of, a lot of bank accounts with American, with non-tax compliant money, which means with black money. They had a lot of black money in previous years because Switzerland had the Swiss bank secrecy, mm -hmm. so they had many clients from the United States with undeclared assets. They didn't pay taxes. They didn't pay taxes in the United States. And mm. obviously the IRS, the tax authority in the United States was not happy about that. And the Americans started a campaign against Swiss banks and started to distribute fines in millions, even billions. It started with uh, Jeffrey Neiman. He was the first US prosecutor who prosecuted UBS with 780 million fine. This was the first fine against UBS. Mm. UBS made a deal at that time with the IRS. And then the first time in history of Swiss banking, 4,500 US Swiss bank accounts with US beneficial owners were disclosed to the authorities of the United States. So this was the first time in history Swiss banking secrecy. That was secrecy like 10 years was, ago, right? Yeah, this was exactly, this was roughly 10 years ago, exactly. Mm -hmm. The first time in history Swiss bank secrecy was lifted. Mm -hmm. This was a scandal and this was a change, a game changer in the history of Swiss banking, of course. And at that time, Swiss banks were so scared because they still today, they are paying fines. There was a really campaign that was even the, the, non, uh, the non prosecution program for Swiss banks started by the Department of Justice from the United States. So the Swiss banks had the opportunity to take part to a certain program to not be criminally prosecuted. You know, we had, as you remember, we had even Credit Suisse who declared themselves guilty Mm. for tax evasion as a, even as a criminal organization. This never happened before. This was yeah. unique. So after all these things happened, Swiss banks were very scared. They rejected any account opening of Americans. Yeah. They didn't want it to do for, with Americans. FATCA documents, right? FATCA and all these regulations, uh, high, very sophisticated, high risk, legal risk, and uh, any type of risk mm. from the US side. So Swiss banks, they always rejected US persons. And still today, it is in the minds of US people. No, it's impossible. It's impossible today to open accounts for US people. But that's not true because things have changed. So what are the rules for to open a Swiss bank account as an American, as a US resident? The rules are the US client has to has to have residence in the United States of America, and he has to work with the Swiss bank who is licensed in the US, who has an SEC license. The SEC is the Security Exchange Commission, and the Swiss bank should have such a license, and he can only open a Swiss bank account if he works with an external asset manager having a discretionary asset management mandate. So even the asset manager needs an SEC license. So what happened in the last, in the last two, three years, it happened that many Americans came again to Switzerland, but this time not with black money. They came here with fully legal money, fully tax compliant tax money. They are coming to Switzerland for asset protection because since Trump, some, some clients are, are not happy about Trump, so they 
They do asset protection, they open accounts in Switzerland to diversify their worldwide assets, to not leave all the assets under the rules of the US government. So they want to have also some assets under other rules, for example, the Swiss, uh, the rules of the Swiss government. Mm -hmm. So they started, US person are coming again in in, in important amounts of money are coming from the United States to Switzerland. Not only private clients, even US companies are investing again tremendously in Switzerland because it's very attractive for asset protection and mm -hmm. now the US desks of many banks, for example, Bank von Tobel, Bank Picte, all these banks, they applied for the SEC license. There are also more and more asset managers applying for SEC license mm -hmm. to be legitimated to receive these US clients. And we know, we know exactly the banks uh, who work, who accept US clients, who bring good services, but this time tax compliant, nothing for tax dodgers, 100% yes. legal. So just to summarize, in the past, the Swiss banks, they, you know, used the gray methods, so to yeah. speak, uh, sometimes even black. And so the from the from the U.S. perspective, yes, yes not yes. from the Swiss. From yes. the Swiss, it was legal, of exactly. course. Exactly. Yeah. But the U.S. Um, uh, authorities they had problems with the procedures, yeah. right? Not with the banks itself, not with the country itself. Yeah. Just just with the way they operated. So now they changed yeah. the way of operations to a U.S. compliant way. U.S. compliant way. Compl and now they are satisfied. The IRS is satisfied as long as you pay your taxes in yes, the U.S. Of course. You can still use a Swiss bank account yeah. for various reasons. We are, we are getting there in a moment. Obviously, it is a great idea mm -hmm. to bring your assets for asset protection to Switzerland. Of course. And to protect your assets in the Swiss franc, right? But yeah. you still have to pay your taxes to the IRS. Of course, you have to be tax compliant. Exactly. You have to make the file, the, w, the form W9, which is uh, the form the Americans know this form, the W9. With this form, you declare, you authorize the bank to disclose your information to the US tax authorities and you are fully tax compliant. But you can take all the benefits of Swiss banks. So more and more Swiss banks are happy to receive US clients. We are helping also US clients to get a Centurion Black Card. We know that US, US persons, Americans like very much this Centurion Black Card, especially the European one. And we are, we are the service we offer is we open, we, we help the US client to find the right Swiss bank with a license, with a good service, and to find the right asset manager, you know, also with the license, with, a, with, a, with professional experience, uh, who brings an asset manager who delivers, who can deliver results. And we help the client to make the right decisions, to work with the right people, with the right bank and with the right asset manager, and to be fully tax compliant. We help him in the pricing, we will help him to negotiate good pricing because the pricing is always negotiable, even mm. in banking. So our, our advice to you is don't accept the standard terms and conditions offered by you by the Swiss banks. Everything is negotiable. The more higher, more important the assets are, the better the pricing will be. Mm -hmm. And we we'll give our support. We bring you, we will pick up you at the airport, we bring you to the bank. We introduce you to the asset manager. We help you to fill up the forms to be tax compliant, to do everything right. We help you to select the right bank. Depending on your business and depending on your economic background, we select the best bank for you, who is licensed with the I, who is licensed in the United States with the SEC, and uh, everything should be according to the books and according to the law, of course. Okay. So just to summarize again, if you are interested in opening up a Swiss bank account with our support, then the procedure is as follows. You just have to be sure you really want to do this, right? Um, obviously, if you're just interested, there are many ways to, you know, get some information in the internet, etc. Because this is a very time-consuming process. Yeah. So it's very, it's very good to know upfront. Obviously, we help you to make up your mind, right? It doesn't make sense to call you, you know, can you give me some information on yeah. Swiss banking, right? Yeah. Um, because you are super busy. So yeah. we help you guys to understand if this is the right location, the right destination for your asset protection 
uh, maybe you are looking for other solutions that are a bit more affordable, that are you know accepting you with 100,000 or 50,000 uh, dollars in assets. Obviously, Switzerland offers you the best solution if you are wealthy, right? Yeah. So starting from one million, you exactly. should start from one million assets. You know, Th that's why that's why I'm it, saying it, this. It has right? no nonsense to open a Swiss bank account for, yes. for asset management with 500,000 mm dollars. -hmm. It should be a million at least because the Swiss asset manager has to diversify the money. So he has to buy different shares, different bonds, different instruments. He has to diversify for, for your protection, for your own protection. He has to diversify the risks. And to do a good risk diversification, you need an mm -hmm. important amount. You need at least a million to make a good diversification to protect your interests. Otherwise, you have to invest in funds, in investment funds, but investment funds are very expensive. So uh, the fees, the hidden fees in the investment fund will eat the performance of your portfolio. So therefore, we strongly advise you to start in Switzerland, but you should start with at least of with at least $1 million. This is the minimum portfolio size. Otherwise, Switzerland, Switzerland is not the right place. There are other destinations. Yeah, there are as other I destinations said. you can work yes. with Switzerland. You should start from one million and more. Exactly. So this is the first step. Make up your mind. If you then say, yes, I have above one million US dollars in assets to protect and to, you know, to invest for a maximum security and profits. Um, then the second step will be to get in touch with us, you know, exactly. to arrange a personal video call first. A so video call first. And it's we the will, best way. Exactly. Right? We will ask you what is your business, mm -hmm. what is your background, you know, from the client to understand what he's doing, source of funds to, to be compliant with all the money laundering legislation. And then we will help you to compose, to prepare the documents for the bank. We will tell you exactly, we will send you a questionnaire, we will tell you some questions, we will pose you some questions, we need the answers, we need a short CV, we need your passport copy. We do all the preliminary checks. Before we present you to the bank, we have already done everything. We do first our homework and then when everything is ready, we present you to the bank. Not before, because it can be risky if you go to the bank and the documentation is not fully accomplished, if the yeah. documentation is not finished, you know, yeah. you, there are certain risks that of misunderstanding, uh, you know, the banks are very nervous. Let me maybe, days. let me yeah. maybe bring yeah. my personal experience to this. No. Um, I opened several accounts worldwide in Hong Kong, in Switzerland, in the US as well, being German and a Swiss resident. Um, but even myself, I got rejected like three times yeah. over the world. And I even lost two bank accounts, yeah. one in Switzerland and one in Hong Kong. And from my perspective, from my experience, I can tell you it is crucial, it is absolutely crucial that you do your homework or you have somebody yeah. with a checklist, with 30 years of experience, with all the knowledge, what can go wrong, yeah. so that this person, this consultant is helping you to be prepared. You need a checklist, you need templates, you need briefings, you need a lot of preparation to do this right, because if you do it wrong, they are all connected, yeah. right? They are communicating. So if you go there and you do it completely wrong, it is very unlikely you will find another bank, right? So it's really good to you find... You can be backlisted, blacklisted, uh, for example. Exactly. Or even yeah. you, can, you can be notified yeah. uh, as a, a, a suspicious activity report can be, uh, can be the result, you know. This is very bad. A suspicious activity report is very bad. Because exactly. Then your account will be frozen, you are under suspicion yes. of money laundering just because of a misunderstanding, which yes. is very stupid. So yes. this, this so, thing should be avoided, so these, exactly. Yeah, they are, they are like computers, yeah? yeah? You know, they behave like computers. They have yeah. a checklist. So if you just follow step by step, point by point. According just, to the books, exactly. Yes, according to the books, it's like, all right, all right. So they just follow the rules, you know, and these people working with the banks, they don't own the bank, they don't manage the bank, they are working for the bank. So they, there's, they, they just have a manual to follow. Exactly. They just have rules and a checklist to follow. And we have this material. We know what they want. Yeah. So together with you, we will help you to do this right yeah. and um, to avoid any costly mistakes yeah. um, so that you do it right in the first place. And I can really, really, um, not highlight enough, it is extremely important to have a super experienced partner in this. In my past experience, I had three, four agents and, and uh, consultants um, working with me that seemed to be very experienced. They yeah. seemed to be very professional, but they were not. Uh, and that cost me a lot of money, a lot of headaches yeah. and a lot of pain and t wasted time. So here you have the strongest potential partner to do this right. Thank you very much. That's true. And what I have to say to you, you will also, if you work with us, if we introduce you to the right bank, to the right asset manager, 
you will obtain a much better price if you go if you go directly you will have a higher price for sure this is guaranteed because the asset manager we work they have a lot of they have many clients with so the without you it's higher if without me it's higher because with our asset manager they have a package price because mm -hmm. they have many clients you know many clients one client has 20 million the other client 5 million the other client 30 million the other client 10 million so they have many assets under management and they can negotiate a much better price you know a package price with the bank so if we if you come to me if you come to us you know what we do is we will prepare all the documentation to be tax compliant we will go together with the asset manager we will go to the bank and we know exactly the price you will pay we will have we can negotiate a very very good price much cheaper so the the the, the fees for the advice are far away paid out so it's going to be very effective yeah not time consuming for them because you yeah. do all the hard work they just have to get prepared they have to prepare the documents you need yeah um, if they follow your advice it's going to be a success because you know which banks to address for which yeah. type of clients yeah some might be older some yeah. might be younger some might be you know very wealthy some you know starting out having the first million uh, mm. the, that that has been made you know and they want to grow it in the next years and decades yeah. so these are different kinds of clients and you know which client to send to which bank right exactly um, and then with your support it would take how long to get this open normally an account opening procedure it takes from two weeks to two months all right this is the range depends on the bank you know a credit suisse account opening with credit suisse or with ubs will take two months there is because no they yeah, you know they, they got are. a lot of yeah uh, so that's, a lot of fines that's why that is also the reason we don't advise to open an account with yes. credit suisse or ubs yes. because these are very big big banks you know mm -hmm. and over-regulated banks and uh, procedure and yeah. the, 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 the decision taking process is very long and uh, sophisticated exactly. so we like to work not with the smallest banks but also not with the biggest banks. like we medium like, experience exactly, medium-sized bank with experienced people and what we do we check the bank but we check also the people inside the bank working for the bank so we mm -hmm. want to work with professionals yes. with people who are not doing mistakes you know because bad mistakes will cost a lot of money for mm -hmm. everybody involved so yeah. we will avoid these these uh, mistakes and we will get the better prices at the end of the day mm -hmm. and successful asset management for long term you know opening a swiss bank account even as an american it's a long-term project it's a project the average duration of a swiss bank account is 17 years so it's longer than a marriage <laughs> so a bank account normally takes the duration is 17 years mm -hmm. So it's a long-term project. You have to do it for a long time. It's an important decision, you know, mm -hmm. with which bank you work with, with which asset manager you work with. So that's why we don't advise to work directly with the bank. We always advise you to take an external manager because the internal manager of the bank can change the job. He will be with the bank a half year, a year, then he changed the job. Then they're, they're, a new they're, one. they're changing yeah. their banks yeah. quite they often. They are changing right? the bank very often. You know, Swiss private bankers, they are under tremendous pressure anymore and now these times because the Swiss bank secrecy is not that strong as it was before. So and they have to really to fight for new money. Hmm. It doesn't come automatically as it was before, you yep. know. Uh, they have to find, but they are still successful uh, Swiss banks. They are increasing, so there are a record amount of assets. So just to give you a figure, 30% of all bankable assets in the world in offshore banking are managed by Swiss banks. 30% of all offshore money is managed by Swiss banks. So this speaks for itself that Swiss banks are good or the best in the world. Yes. I can, I can, yeah, I, I, I cannot say different. That's the truth. Yeah, because there is no alternative. It's also the reason that I moved from Germany to Switzerland because yeah. there's reliability. You yeah. can forget about the money. You know, forget yeah. about the banks. You can just trust the government. Yeah. Right. The government gives you a rule. It's transparent, direct democracy. So this law has been implemented. Um, because the people want it to be implemented. Exactly. So it's not something the govern government puts on the, upon the people and then there might be like a rebel, yeah, no, no, like some rebels and some, some uproar mm. uh, against it and then you have th thousands of people demonstrating. You don't see this really, no. very, very rarely in Switzerland uh, because people are, you know, interacting with mm. the government, mm. with the system. But it's a direct democracy. Direct democracy. They also 
they are they are also re directly responsible, the people, uh, for these kind of regulation things. You know, if they want something to be really regulated, then it happens because the people want it. Yeah. Yeah. They don't just do it against the people. That is very important to me because yeah. I'm really a big. Um, yeah, I'm a liberal philosopher. I really love liberal um, entrepreneurship. Yeah. So I want to have a country that supports this idea yeah, yeah, yeah. of free trade or yeah. free banking, you know. But still, on the other side, everything is secure. Yeah. Everything is reliable. You just know yeah. that if you follow the rules, everything is going to be fine. Yeah. The rules are, you can know the rules, right? In many other countries with corruption, with transparency, there's always a big risk involved yeah. because you don't know what might happen to Corruption them. is very, let yeah. me give you an example. Can I give you, a, 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 give you a real example on corruption? I had a client in Russia, a very successful real estate entrepreneur, and what they did to not spend too much money, instead to take a Swiss company f for holding the supermarket, the Russian supermarket was held by a BVI company, British a, Virgin Islands, British Virgin Island company, and not by, and not by a Swiss company because of cost reasons. The, obviously, the BVI company is cheaper than a Swiss company, but the supermarket, the value of the supermarket was 80 million. So the supermarket had a value, a market value of 80 million. So then what happened? Some fraudsters corrupted, sent some people to the BVI change the people in the commercial register, in the company register, Ugh. and put different directors in this BVI company. These directors change the ownership in Russia, in the land registry, and suddenly the supermarket disappeared, was stolen, and then it was sold to other people. So these clients then, lost then, the supermarket just yes. because they want instead to take a Swiss company yeah. To, to maintain, to control the supermarket, they made a mistake taking a cheap BVI, you not know, just for a couple of thousand dollars less paying less, but this is this is not the right way to do business. So if you hold such a valuable asset, you should take uh, an instrument, a Swiss company located in a stable, in a stable nation, yes. in a stable country without corruption. You know, you can rely in Switzerland. This will, will never happen that you can go to, to, the, to the commercial register, giving money to the to the to the guy there, you know, to the exactly. uh, to the Impossible. officer, you know, uh, bribing them, mm. paying money. This will not happen. Yeah, there, there are two, two things, you know, many times in life, if you choose the cheap solution, yeah. it's going to be the way cost, yeah. you know, it's going to cost you way more. Yeah. Uh, in many ways of life, right? And on the other hand, um, how would you sue anybody on the British yeah, Virgin Island? How exactly. would you, you know, how do you find a lawyer? I mean, you can find a UK-based lawyer a lot, that helps you there. They spend a lot of money. They spend a lot of money for lawyers, and at the end, they were not successful. Exactly. They failed. They because, failed. Because After two years, they have not recovered at the supermarket. They yeah. lost the supermarket. It was incredible for me itself, you know, to see, wow, how this is possible. But it, in Russia, many things are possible. And even, even if they are fraudsters, I mean, obviously, fraudsters are everywhere, like private people. You know, um, doing criminals. Fraud. These are criminals. Criminals. You also have criminals in Switzerland, obviously. But there is a, a system against these people. So, you know, Switzerland. They, they. Switzerland doesn't care where these people are flying to, right? They get these people. They find these people for sure. Uh, working with Interpol, etc., and then they bring them to jail. Right? They bring them to justice. So, even if there are some cases of criminal activities, also from Switzerland, they have a very, very strong legal system protecting your interests. Um, and this is not, definitely not going to happen again in this industry if it ever happens in an industry. So that's why I can really suggest um, that you just, you know, make up your mind. If this is interesting to you, thank you again for watching the interview with Enzo. Thank you. Thank you. And if you're interested, just, you know, uh, fill in the form, uh, apply for a free consultation. Yeah. So we just get um, in touch and we talk about your interest and your plans for the future as a protection. So thank you so much for taking the time. Thank you. It was a great pleasure to give you the information to your audience. Yes, thank and you looking much. forward to work with you guys. Have a thank wonderful you. day. Thank you. Bye bye.